Here we have for sale our 2017 on a 17 plate Ford Transit Utility Tipper. This has got the 2 litre 130 brake horsepower engine in it. And what I mean by utility is that this double cab here, where on a normal double cab tipper you would have the window in the back, on this one, um, if you open it up, you've actually got a proper bulkhead there behind the second row of seats. It's all boarded out here in the back and obviously you haven't got the window here for extra security. So this is ideal for um, sort of, well, basically anyone that wants to put tools in the back. Usually with double cab tippers, they're very rarely used um, actually, you know, for the seating in the rear. Um, a lot of double cab tippers you will see end up sort of people take the rear seats out, but this is, you know, from the factory as it's meant to be so um, but also being a tipper it is a caged tipper as well you can take these caged sides off if you wanted to um, but uh, again for the certain for, you know for certain trades very very handy to have the caged sides you have got the alloy sides here you can get tippers with steel sides um, but the alloy sides are slightly lighter so that will allow you to have more of a payload and the steel ones do you know tend to corrode and things like that so the the alloy ones do look a bit smarter i've got a double rear wheel um on uh, on this one as well which is uh, preferred for towing if we have a look here in i've laid this tape out here so you can see the length in the back it's about 2.8 uh, meters the the length of of this tipper here i'll uh, get rid of this tape here and I'll demonstrate the, the tipper for you shortly. If we just go around to the to the front, this is a one owner tipper. We do have a lovely service history uh, printout with uh, this vehicle as well to obviously verify the mileage. If we uh, jump in the cab, so we can have a look at the spec inside and we can also operate the tipper as well. So you can see how all that works. I've got uh, electric windows got the multi-function steering wheel with the radio controls there have got here a fire extinguisher just down the side of the seat and here we have the tipper controls we just jump into the into the cab got the normal uh, transit radio on these so you can connect your phone to it and we also have got a reversing camera screen as well up there and obviously a reversing camera uh, you've got the fold down center part there driver's armrest all usual comforts to have on the uh, on the transit you have also got a beacon on the roof and there is I don't know if you can see that there but there is a bank of switches up there and that's how you turn the beacon on so if we start up the van So you can see the mileage there. Just press the computer button there, okay. So we have got 28,874 miles. Obviously the van is running now as well. So you can see that it's idling correctly and no warning lights on. The reversing camera is, is on there, but um, all it's showing you at the moment is the tailboard um, because we've got the tailboard folded down. But if we just jump out here, let's have a look at the tipper here in action so basically what you do um, to operate the tipper you've got the red key here at the bottom you turn that up to the side you press the on button and you get the green light when you get the green light you basically push this up and then the tipper will rise so if we push that up there you'll get the the siren going Okay, so we'll put it up to there and we can see what's going on here. So you can see the chassis under here, all in very, very nice condition. Uh, correct safety procedure here is to put this bar up there so that if you know, something were to fail, then it, will, <laughs> it wouldn't crush me. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can see here the condition of this underneath in very, very uh, good condition. And you can see there, the tipper raised up nicely all working as it should 
obviously you can uh, put uh, either of the sides down if you want to. I'm showing this this back one down here. But a very, very impressive bit of kit. You have got the rear tow bar under there as well. But I say extremely versatile. The fact that you've got, as I say, the utility part there behind, ideal for storing tools. Um, you've also got the caged part of the tipper, so you can get a lot more volume in there if you're a tree surgeon or something in that um, line of work. You can get obviously a lot of branches and, as I say, a lot more volume in there. Um, and then obviously you've got the, the tipper aspect of it as well. But um, a very nice one owner, low mileage. Uh, and also don't forget it is Euro 6. So you can take this into the ultra low emission zone without having to pay the congestion charge. Um, I say good history with it. 130 brake horsepower, a very, very, very nice van. If you'd like to inquire on this vehicle, here are our contact details listed at the bottom of the sign. Please feel free to give us a call on either of the numbers listed below and we'll be happy to um, you know talk you through um, any options that we have available on this so we can offer uh, nationwide delivery we can arrange finance and we can take part exchange so um, i say give us a call get in contact if you do have any questions at all